Windows 11 Insider Preview is not as stable as a regular public version of Windows 11. Here's why. Well, number one, unreliable features. Remember, the goal of the Windows Insider program is to get users to test Windows features before they are released to the public. This means if those features are not ready yet or not good enough, Microsoft might even remove them before the next public release, or just may never include them at all. Number two, more crashes. Since those features are for testing, they're not as reliable and may crash more often. You may also experience crashes in other parts of Windows as well. More on that shortly. Uh, number three, constant updates. If you already don't like to regularly update your computer, you may have a harder time with Windows 11 Insider Preview. You are more obligated to update because the current build you are using now may have a particular stability issue, which can only be fixed in the next build. And that too may have a stability issue. And that's not a bad thing, you shouldn't be surprised because the Insider builds are made for testing. Number four, it's hard to get out of it. Yup, easy to get into, hard to get out of. This is especially the case if you are using the dev channel. Oftentimes, you have to do a clean reinstall of Windows 11 altogether. This is especially the case if you want to get out of it immediately. So is the Insider program worth it? Absolutely. Windows 11 will still work just fine. But install it on a virtual machine or another spare computer that you have, not on your main PC. So that's all there is to it. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching.